friends, welcome to Blogmas Day 10. Today I am opening all my advent calendars at once. So let's start with the task. So here it says, make yourself a Christmas drink and listen to your favorite Christmas music. So this is, a, I think, a light task for me, but I wanted to have this task in my calendar because sometimes I forget to to do something like uh, like listen to Christmas music, to listen to my favorite. So I thought that would be a good idea to have a set time to do that. Okay, and let's continue with the T's, number 10. <laughs> okay, organic black tea with ginger, cinnamon, cardamom, nutmeg, cloves, and coconut. So let's see how uh, it tastes. I will report back tomorrow. Number 10 is easy to find. Ah, that's a really beautiful color. What do you think? I love it. I love this color. Mm. So it smells like, I think like soap or like a shampoo, but good. I like it. It's something different. Now the jam. Okay. Number 10. Huh. Lemon and yuzu marmalade. I don't know what is yuzu, but I love that it has 25% lemon. I love it. So I'm loving the surprises for today. No licorice, no garlic in the tea. Then this marmalade really with a flavor I've never tried. And this cute candle, I love purple. And the smell is also good. I am really looking forward to try today's surprises and fulfill this prompt. And I would love to know if you also had the opportunity to fulfill the other prompts or the prompt for today. I wish you lots of fun today, lots of reading time and relaxing. And now I have a book gift guide video. So I thought maybe you can find some inspiration and I hope you enjoy this video. So let's start with the first book, The Christmas Chronicles, but uh, nine years later. I've heard lots of good comments about this book in BookTube. And so I was very, very curious to, uh, to see what it's about. And it is a lovely book. I can really recommend it. It just sets you in the mood for winter, for Christmas. It is a very good transitional book and it is very, um, very big. It goes till the beginning of January, I think, and it just brings me joy. I am really enjoying it. I hope someday I can try most of the recipes here, but even if I don't try them, I, I mean, most of them, uh, I think it really, uh, can be inspiring just to to um, prepare for Christmas, to ease in um, the winter time, in the winter mood. He shares with us lots of interesting information about Christmas in Great Britain. For example, the pudding, uh, the Christmas cake, I think it's called, etc. So I am loving it and I've already found some recipes that I would like to try. So I can really recommend this book and it's really an experience. <laughs> the cover is just beautiful and it makes me feel really, really cozy. Then the second book that I've got is a book that I've been wanting to acquire since a long time because I've heard also lots of uh, comments about this book, The Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Um, this is a beautiful edition. Uh, I love this color and it looks like this. I, I've been enjoying some of the paintings and the um, annotations. Edith Holden is a naturalist and she just wrote about what, what she encountered during her walks on the countryside and it just it was it is just really inspiring to see the illustrations and to also it has helped me to just to be in the mood for winter for example this beautiful illustration there are lots of them <clears throat> there is for example this illustration in december 
it um she just uh, writes some notes uh, poems uh, observations and she's a really good artist i can really recommend this book if you um just want something that sets you in the mood and even if you don't have the opportunity to go a lot uh, on walks in the nature this really makes you um dream and yes you can do it maybe later when it is um for you when you have the opportunity i think uh, i am thinking also about it to to take more walks and to enjoy more nature it is really inspiring i can really recommend it then i got this book and some of you that have been watching my channel know that i am really really happy about having discovered uh this other book the book of tea um and I discovered there are lots of books in this series. So I thought about just uh, getting a book per month, maybe, so I can have a collection of wonderful recipes that really send me in the mood for um, for a cozy time and just enjoy, enjoy a cozy time, just uh, baking or cooking. In this case, baking scones. I have no experience with scones. But uh, I've um, read already some of the recipes and they don't seem very difficult. And nevertheless, it's really something really British and really good for uh, tea time. I think this is a very good collection. Uh, they are uh, not so expensive than other cookbooks. In this case, uh, this, has, uh, this uh, doesn't have lots of illustrations like uh, the other book the for the tea, for the tea book. But for example, this is... <laughs> just delightful and I love also the the format because it is not very heavy many cookbooks are really heavy and of course I understand that because there are lots of recipes and wonderful things to discover but in this case this book because it is very small and not heavy at all it's just it's just really easy to use and of course uh, this cover is just uh, wonderful so I can really recommend this book also then the next book that I got and that I am really um, glad that I discovered is this book. Poems to Live Your Life by Chris Riddle. They are illustrated and collected by Chris Riddle. And he is uh, also the illustrator of, for example, The Graveyard by Neil Gaiman. But I just discovered this book just uh, looking for, for interesting books because I am also... Um, I would like to read more poetry and I am not, um, how can I say that? I don't, I have not read um, a lot of poetry. So I would like to start with uh, just simple poetry, but beautiful or inspiring. And this book, of course, it was a cover by, but also it was something I, I've read the first pages and I really like the poetry here. And this is an illustration from The, po uh, from the Tempest by Shakespeare. And so, I love this illustration and the poem. And there is something also very nice. Where was the poem that I really love? And I love, for example, this poem, Freedom. Give me the long, straight road before me, a clear, cold day with a nipping air. Tall, bare trees to run on beside me. A heart that is light and free from care. Then let me go. I care not whither. My feet may lead, for my spirit shall be free as the brook that flows to the river, free as a river that flows to the sea. By Olive Runner. I, I love this poem. What do you think? So I'm looking forward to read most of um, the poems here. There are many topics, different topics. So it's just a wonderful book. And then I, disc I had to pick this book, Goth Girl. I... Um, I didn't know anything about this book, but it has lots of illustrations. I think it's a book that it is, um, it can be read by adults or children uh, because it has wonderful illustrations that you can enjoy. Some of them are really quirky and a little bit scary. As some of you know, I don't like scary things, but this is a little bit for those people who don't like scary things. But I think it will be a very interesting experience. It has lots of Victorian references. So if you are a Victorian era fan, I think this, this could be a very interesting book to pick. It says, meet, meet other goth. 
She lives in Ghastly Gorm Hall with his father, Lord Goth, lots of servants, and at least half a dozen ghosts, but she hasn't got any friends to explore her enormous, creepy house with. Then, one night, everything changes when Adam meets a ghostly mouse called Ismail. Together, they set out to solve the mystery of the strange happenings at Ghostly Corn Hall and get a lot more than they bargained for. It is really cute because this is a, a ghost mouse. And so, if you would like to just spend uh, some hours reading this and relaxing and have a little bit of a scary um, vibes and also something very quirky and with lots of literature references, this I think this is the book for you. So another book that I discovered in October is this lovely book, The Adventures of Miss Pettifor. Um, it was um, a cover by, but I just love the autumnal uh, colors and it is a very whimsical story. I've talked, uh, I think, a lot about this book in my recent videos, but I think it is really... Um, a wonderful book, full of joy, full of whimsy. It is a little bit, I think, like um, Amelie. Of course, for cat lovers, it is the perfect book because she has 16 cats. And I really um, enjoyed the stories. There are just um, some vignettes about her life with her cats and just uh, how she um, enjoys life every day. And, and it says here, Meet Miss Pettifor, baker, adventurer, cat lover, reader, stamp collector, and storyteller. And her multitudinous cats. It is uh, really um, wonderful, lovely. If you want a book that um, is a pick up and uplifting, just read a story from this book and I can guarantee you that uh, you will feel a little bit better and just get some whimsy and magic from this book. So these are all the books that I got. Lots of uh, books that are helpful for the transition from autumn to winter. So I am very glad about these books and I would love to hear if you have already read these books or you have them on your TBR. And I wish you a wonderful time today and I will be seeing you very soon with another bookish video. Bye!